Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. First of all, I wanna apologize for the the short episode, last episode. Uh, I actually got... Um, oh, is an enemy here? Uh, I got a screw up at work, uh, where a screw up, screw up happened, which was <laughs> my... Um, my starting time was wrong in uh, in my in my schedule, which made me <laughs> have to end the episode a bit early and go to work. Oh my god! I thought you would die from the sand here. One shot me? What the hell? <laughs> Perfect beginning. Hopefully we get spawned here. Yeah, nice. Okay, so. <laughs> Heal, so you don't die again. Maybe we should start with that dude also. Why not add some extra damage? Hopefully that is enough. Maybe it wasn't, no? Will I fall down in this? Yeah. Boom. I will just chase this dude. Mighty construct bow. I think I want that. <laughs> you can drop this old wooden bow. That's a nice... Nice fuse, uh, fusion upgrade there. Let's kill this dude also. Ah! My weapon broke. Let me just go and get this um, chest also, from there. Then we will do the... oh my god. I had... I didn't think about that. <laughs> that my stamina was out. Okay, let me do this again. There we go. Yeah, maybe not wasn't the most worth loot there. And there was a statue that we are following. Let's keep that in mind for after the shrine here. Bridging the sands. Okay, that is closing and making a lot of damage, it seems. Nice, and I guess we need to grab when they respawn here, yeah. So we have one on the next side. Oh. Also, do we need to maybe make it like this? Yeah, I think so. Nice. An enemy. This is no good. I would probably have to go back here, otherwise I'm gonna die. Yeah. There are some machines that you can ride on. Okay, so we need a ball. And that's the end. 
So I guess the ball will be inside there, maybe. There's an enemy as well. Hovercraft. I think it's easiest to just take the hovercraft. There is the chest also. So let's go to the chest first. Oh my god. This is not good. Yeah, this is not good at all. This will make me die, I think. Yeah, because I have no, no food. Okay, so it will like re, reapply itself. Yeah, but that sucks. This will take forever. But this means that I should be able to... Oh my god. <laughs> I missed everything. Let's just go and grab a new one. For real, huh? I have to go all the way back. Something will spawn here as well. I wonder what that could be. Okay. Then it was good that we backtracked. And that gets shot inside, okay. We will try to bring one of these with us, if we're able to, <laughs> maybe not, maybe, nope, is that also a chest, so they have two chests in here, huh, that's not as usual, let's go to this chest first then. Do we reach we reach it so we should be able to snipe it and then quickly grab it. Nice. Ten arrows, always nice. Come on. Guess it's too far away. Or too too much up on the on the platform here. That should be better. So I think the easiest way to ac access this place is just to Break here and then ascend. Hopefully. There we go. They have lost track on me. It's really worth getting the loot that they dropped there. Okay, so if I press this, what happens? Is it opening the door? Yeah. So I guess here we can just attach the ball on, on the back on this. Like on the top of the fan. A bit back heavy, but I think we will manage. Yeah. And then let's just go and get this this last chest here. 
We're gonna really park the car like this. Because then we can jump on that. And uh, use this as a platform up. Hopefully. Something like that, I guess. That's great. And we don't want to lose the car. Hopefully we can do a little slide here. Yeah, nice. And then somehow we need to get the ball up here. So I guess we will build some type of bridge. Hopefully that is enough. I think it is. Oh. Nice. One ball, please. There we go. Easy as that. Nice, nice. Nice, so let's keep following the statue you now. Are oh, you... Who are you? And why are you here? <laughs> like, I thought I killed every enemy in this place. Guess not. It seems like they have all respawned here, actually. Which is a bit weird. And I want to... Take the gear from the other dude here. Oh, I wanted to sneak on him. And he kills me again, huh? get the last shrine I think we did because that, that's where the next auto save should be we just ignore this dude so I don't want to be one shot at once again <laughs> yes where are you you're pointing this way now how far it could be we should be approaching the, the finish I feel like what is this also it's that statue pointed almost a bit upward I would say but maybe they all point upwards I don't really remember but we're gonna climb this first see what it is maybe we can see the statue from from a from the height here also uh, it's a karaoke at least exit okay what is this should I land here or should should I shoot something to this I should just land. <laughs> okay. That was a scuffed little Kuroko seed. That means I have to climb up again if I want to keep exploring this place. 
see some enemies in the distance there, but I think I will ignore them for now. I'm just checking around this place so I haven't missed anything. I think actually that was, was everything here. Uh, but the statue though, there is the next statue. There is the other statue. Yeah, we really need to be close now. Oh. Giga dude. And one of you. <laughs> Why not? Oh my god, stop jumping. I hear it's electric. No good. I shot. No, I shot. No. <laughs> and he hit me, huh? Oh my god. I've taken so much damage this episode. <laughs> I miss every time. There we get a s crit in the end, huh? I guess the temple is maybe down under this skeleton thing. Or maybe not. But they want me to go straight ahead here at least. We're gonna do that. I would say water on this electric dude. Uh, I think by most used. Then we need. I think a weapon with 30 is enough. Actually. We're a bit slow to approach here. Maybe we actually will not kill him. No, I was way too slow. Let's let him do his thing again. It's the swinging that makes it. You need to like time your swing. I will survive again now. Ooh. Usually those are one one shot kills, or like one hit with the arrow, so they get knocked out and then you can kill them before they get up again. Ooh, this is nice. Uh, but I have like nicer gear, but I'm gonna drop that. Let's see, this we have taken a picture on. Saw some small hole here. I think it's down here we should go actually. This is a sneaky little place. <laughs> really, really easy to miss it. And also easy to hit. There we go. Wescarido underground ruins. Nice. Oh my god, this will take a lot of knocking down stone. So let's bring out the, our Sage of Fire, please. There we go. I really need some help from you. So we have a lot of stone to crush here. So it's like a maze, I'm guessing, but without stone everywhere. So you have to like find a way, but also... It's gonna be so slow. <laughs> Maybe this whole clearing out will take more than one episode here. Oh. I don't say no to all the loot though. That we will get here. Like, is it even worth doing this while waiting on the cooldown? I don't think so, because I remove so little in comparison. We have 
enemies up here. Oh my god, we can almost squeeze through here. <laughs> Super close. But I see that um, the statue keeps going, which is nice. What? Where did you go now? I need you here. Oh my god, that was a misclick. But why not take this? Ah, oh, there they are. This time we will get it in one, hopefully. Maybe not because I didn't uh, use the spin move. Yeah. That was the thing I was forgetting to do. Oh my god, for reals. Yes, go up and finish it. Then we can backtrack. Nice. Let's take the rusty claymore. This will now break. Yeah. Ruby, always nice. I take it, I take it. A lot of two handed still only. It's okay. So what was the weapon she held in her hand? Traveler's Claymore. Huh? Can I use the Rock Boomerang? I can, and what's actually pretty good. deposit dropped a lot of nice things for us this place on the cave we really need to also because I, I I think the ores respawn on the blood moons then this place will be really good for getting ores. Dude, where did you go Blinking part here. A weapon, maybe that's yeah, it looks like a weapon is hi hiding there. Yeah, ah, it's the statue actually. Okay, so you're gonna want me to go left now. Imagine doing this before the before you got Yunobu here as a friend. <laughs> then this place would have taken so much longer. And all your weapon would have been broken after all. I hear some enemies nearby, so we should be close. Yeah. Oh my god. Let me through. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, there you are. You're chilling in a... Is this counting as a cave? Oh my god, you're jumping too much for me. It's an underground ruin. I guess it counts as a cave then.
But that's not why we're here. There must be something more to this game. Maybe if we... Explode it here. Because here it looks like it could go left. Or even maybe right even. Let's explore both ways. And start this way. Because this should just leave us back. So I don't think we... We get anything out of keeping... Hitting these parts. Actually. Yeah, that's a wall. And I guess it's a wall over here as well. Cube. And I guess it must be this way. Or maybe not. Ah, oh, there is uh, I missed you. That's a sneaky little thing to do. But then it's over here, huh? I'm guessing it's like a small entrance somewhere here that you just have to find now. She's pointing a bit like this. But I would guess it's here actually. Approaching the end, I think. Ooh. I was first like, is this opals? But no, it was just bright bloom scents. Let's turn this. Nice. So now we have an easy entrance. That's great, actually. But I want also... I know it's nothing this side, but... Maybe it's some ores laying there. But that's a problem for another day. Okay, so it was... Was it for real only a... Chest here? So shock resistant helmet. That was everything, huh? I for real thought that this would be the the ruins they told me about on the main quest. That's really weird actually. And then I'm a bit lost to be honest. <laughs> Was that really everything? So from here... Nothing else. And I guess it's nothing to the left side here as well. That's super weird. Oh well, nothing much to do from <laughs> by this point. Wesgerudo ruin ruins. Bird. Berida lookout. Kasuka Valley. I guess we have to go back here. Maybe it's something in the um, in the in the. Um, In the shrine, maybe that's the. Because there was like a part in the shrine that I never managed to get up to, so let's just go and let's just go and figure that out. I don't think this is the part that I did wrong. So you really need to be. Do we still have the Roko Guster? Yes. Because it was like a room here to the to the right. It was like 
<laughs> okay, this is not the best weapon for that. Maybe not that either. Uh, let's bring that out. Like inside here. We had like a secret room that didn't even had had nothing to do with the shrine. And I tried to like use these two to fly up because it's up here. You have like the next thing to do. And I tried to stand on this and fly up, but I always managed to fly to the side and never go up. Uh, but I have a plan that I figured out while I was editing last episode, and that is just hit these so they fly up. Oh yeah. And then just hit them like that. And then, in theory, I guess if I jump up on this and rewind it, I should be able to go up with them more easily. If I can manage to jump up on them, that will say. Oh my god. The hell. There we go. Oh. Maybe they are harder to stand on on this side. Okay. Okay, so it will turn around. So that's no good. We can just let it fly down again. Boom. Try to have a smoother landing somehow. I guess the easiest way would be turn it off before it gets too high. Like that maybe. That's perfect. Now we should manage. Hopefully. Yeah, look. That was a great plan. Sad thing I didn't think about it yesterday. Okay, nice. It's only a chest, huh? So this had nothing to do with the... Uh, to do with the main quest. As I thought, but... It was worth backtracking. It might have been some important detail here. So let's get back and read that diary again, I guess. Because I have no clue what we should do. But we can actually leave this shrine. We don't have to finish it again. Okay. Jump down. I feel like I've missed something really simple detail, uh, which makes this so much harder. Uh, I know it's a bit more in here, in, in the text. Take the next page here. One more. Yeah, okay. Sitting here feeling sorry for myself won't solve anything. I'm going to leave Bulli Bullaria in charge of the shelter and go train. The ruins to the north aren't too far. They should be a perfect place for me to practice with my lightning. The ruins to the north, perfect training for lightning. Sure that this is more like northwest. Maybe we should just try and go more straight north because this is a lot of stru structures. Maybe that's something also. Because she's saying north in the text. And she said... And that was a name she told us. Yep, yeah, I will go here then. I have no clue otherwise where I'm, where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> then you have to all please help me in the comments. Like this statue right on, oh, we need to eat something. Like this statue right here. She's pointing actually this. Okay, now we can see 
But we were more like that way before, so so let's try to follow this this statue instead. Hello, dude. Hey, we have already a snap to pick on. Maybe I don't need to <laughs> aimbot, but why not? Oh, I don't like these quick dudes. Boom. Eat wind. Oh my god, that's bad. Already out of food, huh? <laughs> that's great. The temple has a... We haven't even found the te temple yet. Uh, some more damage than nine, please. I was close to hitting me. Now I have already lost the way. Was that the... Uh, the girl I saw before? I think so. And she points this way. There we have something to... Scout with. Yeah, now we're going more like northeast or straight north than before, actually. Because we were more northwest before. I also gonna just use this. So I didn't see much on the other. But there we see another. Other one, so you just go to that. What are these called? Like sand... Um, sandstorm things? Oh, give me some new height. So now I haven't seen a statue in a while, which makes me a bit concerned. Yeah, it's not so good that we haven't seen the statues. <laughs> That makes me think that we have already lost track on where we're going. Let me just gain some height here. Maybe we can manage to find the statue from here. Or at least see it. Uh, jump up. So this place is a bit sus, I think. Because first of all... It's a fire there. And it's called Northern Ice House, so maybe it has something to do. And also here, North Garuda Ruins. Here it is, here it is. We should jump down here. Okay, this dude needs to get to taste some fire on his head, because that's usually one shot, one kill. Same to this dude. But I failed, so you're gonna eat too. I guess we just jump straight down to that. Because I think this is where I was really going. Here is a hole for a ball, so I guess... It exists a ball somewhere in the sandstorm up here that we have to find first. That can be a bit tricky. <laughs> like no text clue or anything, huh? 
I should just find it on my own. And I can't access the map, of course. Let's just get to the start of this thing then. Oh, uh, I went another way. Here we go. A shield that brings down the thunder. Riju, chief of the Gerudo. But then you always show up in unusual times. Suppose I do. <laughs> oh. So Hyrule Castle rose up into the sky. Zelda vanished right in front of you. And now you come here looking for clues. Hmm. Link, I understand how you're feeling. Uh, Zelda is a dear friend of to me as well. I will do everything in my power to help you. But to do that, I need to bring a quick resolution to a problem we Gerudo are facing. I'm sure you noticed that the desert is even more difficult to cross than usual. Yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> That's thanks to this unusual sand shroud. It appeared around the same time the events at Hyrule Castle took place. <laughs> it has been blanketed... It has blanketed... <laughs> I cannot read. It has blanketed... Blanketed the whole desert, including our town. And not long after that, swarms of monsters we'd never seen before began attacking. We're calling them Gibdos. Physical attacks don't work well against them. They are slow, but they still make in invest investigating the sand shroud difficult. We Were you watching just now? I did, sure did. Hmm. I've been practicing striking that dummy over there with lightning. Uh, if I can aim the lightning well, I think it may be an effective weapon against the gib Gibdos. Hmm. But this technique is unrefined. I only recently discovered it and still need more practice. I want to master this power so I can use it to defeat the Gibdos. If I can do that, we can investigate the source of the sand shroud and search for Zelda as well. Link, will you help me with my training? Of course. I think I can use my arrows to... I think I can use your arrows to help me aim my lightning strike. Fire at that dummy over there. Okay. Oh. Ha! There we go. Now let's try something li a little trickier. Okay, so so she she's... Her cloud is like... Uh, Growing outward, and then you have to wait until you shoot your arrow, I guess. You see, this is like expanding. And then we just shoot, wait, and now they are all covered. <laughs> yes. I'm getting a hang on this. She has nice double wielded sword also. Uh, the Gibdos don't stand a chance against this power. I want a double wield. Uh, I can't thank you enough for your help, Link. Now we're on track again. Oh? What was that? Mm. It didn't sound like any noise the sand shroud has made. That's for sure. You heard that too, right? It was... <gasps> Chief! We received word that a swarm of Gibdos are attacking Karakara Bazaar. Bul Buliara is already on her way there. <laughs> She's already 
Okay, understood. Thank you. Link, we need to head to Karakara Bazaar at once. I must ask for your help once again. My lightning and your guiding arrows make us a formidable pair. Do you remember Karakara Bazaar? It's the o oasis northeast to Gerudo town. Let's show those Gibdos what we're made of. Of course, let's go. So that means... Oh yeah, we can see the map, huh? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. I think this or this. I think that's... Because that's near the Skyview Tower, so that's not it. I think it's this, actually. But I might be too so wrong. <laughs> I think I was correct. Yeah. Nice. Ready to cut scene, huh? Oh, there are a lot of Gibdos. Err. <laughs> If help doesn't arrive soon... Here we are. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. But I'm here now. And we're going to wipe all the Gibdos out at once. Follow me! Link, don't let me down. I will try my best. This monster stands no chance. Okay. I guess I have to follow her a bit. And now we can actually aim on that dude. Get those three. Run again. And now all of these are... Ah, I missed. Nice. Ten more, yeah. Boom. I really like her power. It's really strong. Is it any left? Am I blind? Is that the max range? Oh, this thing is... Okay. Because we've seen those in the, in the depths and I didn't know what they were. But we can use electricity to shoot on them. That's good to know. That must be it, huh? Well done holding the line until we were able to get here. Now that we know the Gibdos are susceptible to lightning, this gives us a major advantage. Huh. Is that Zelda? Zelda? <laughs> That's no good. That is right over the Gerudo town, I think, also. That's bad. Real bad. It is. Gerudo town is in danger. Zelda, wait! She's not gonna listen to you. She was heading directly toward those tornadoes. And if more Gibdos are hiding in the storm... Uliara, we need to get back now. <laughs> Link, we're going on ahead. I'll meet you in town. Yeah, because we know that there are people in, in, the, in the city. Here, why not just quick travel when they have already... Unlock the quick travel point there. Skip the storm. We made it. In one piece. 
And uh, do do do. I wonder where we should drop. There they are. Hello. Oh. We must prepare for battle. Of course. Hmm. Look, Link. There's a Gibdo hive, just like the one appeared near Karakara Bazaar. Hmm. Both the hive and those tornadoes were reported to have shown up at the same time. Let's just go and kill the the hive then. But it's not only the one hive, there are three to deal with, each just outside the town gates. I don't need a clairvoyant sand seal to know a massive Gibdo attack is coming. Oh. Right now, those hives are durable and nearly imper impervious to attack. But when they open and begin releasing Gibdos, they're vulnerable. The Gibdos won't wait outside our walls forever. So when they launch their attack, that's our chance to strike. Okay. Come. Come. To where I am. And where is that? Again, you heard it, didn't you? Come. Is it calling to us? Mm -hmm. Lady Ryu, Link, is something the matter? I thought it's not. <clears throat> Link, for now, we should focus on protecting Gerudo Town from the enemies at our gates. We must prepare for battle. I'm ready. I have no food, but I'm ready. Hmm. The sand shroud, the sudden appearance of the Gibdos and their hives. Strange events keep happening, one after another. And we saw Zelda near Karakara Bazaar, but she hasn't been seen anywhere around Gerudo town. Hmm. There's something bigger going on, but for now, we need to focus on the problem at hand and prepare to fight. Link, I need your help again. Speak with Bularia and the soldiers, and help us organize our defenses. Bularia, do you have a question about preparing for battle? What's the plan? Oh. Talk to Captain Tia Tiake in the yard. Work with her to decide how many, how best to deploy our forces. How should I know? <laughs> I'm no army guy. Uh, Pada is in the country yard. She's in charge of the materials we have on hand. We could reinforce our defenses with them. If you need anything, you should talk to her. Oh. Do you have a question about preparing for battle? Tell me about the enemy. Mm. The Gibdos we encountered in the desert do not fall easily when struck. Attack only seems to dull a blade. But fire attacks, as well as Lady Ryu's lightning, appear to be very effective against them. Oh. Rather than relying on the burst brute force of swords and spears, we should try to explore other ways to damage them. In any case, we learned in the last fight that they are not unbeatable. That is enough to give us hope. Okay, so we should probably bu build some contra contraption with uh, f shooting fire or something. Okay, what do we have? Can I just take everything here? Then why not? And also, I guess... Flame emitter, a mirror, huh? And a stake. And some arrows. Maybe we should talk to you also. Oh. I've been gathering materials that I think might be useful in battle. Feel free to take anything you need from here. Also, I'm confident that I can build a barricade at any of the gates. Uh, would that help you? Let's talk barricades. Ooh. There are three gates from the palace. The north gate is ahead, the west gate is left, and the east gate is right. I got an idea for a barricade. I'll use iron barrels and wood to block the path. Which gate should I set it up at? I'm wondering if the north... Is good, because then because it, it's the furthest to run between the east and west. But maybe with, I'm not sure. Let's try north. It might be a bad idea. I'm not sure. Oh. Okay. The barricades have been shut, set up at the northern gate. That should slow down any enemies that attack that position. Because maybe we can then, on the other side where we should plan the forces, we should just. Put them on one of the other gates. Okay, I'm gonna first of all photograph it all because I have probably no picture on them. Uh, 
And also thank you, you who told me that things you have photographed appears blue, while things you haven't appears orange on the on the like uh, on the camera here. That's a good thing to have knowledge about. Then I don't have to wonder every time I take a picture. And let's get this last one, the skimmy. Oh, I already had the skimmy. Yeah. I got the skimmy on the last picture. And the shield we have... What? Okay. It was the shield. Huh? And I probably wanna take a new pick on that, because otherwise the picture is on the sword. There we go. Open this. Got a lot of arrows also. Nice. Also nice that we wanna attach to some sword, I guess. Maybe the spear. To have some uh, distance on them. Okay, so here we wanna drop... These two are bad. Take. Take. Shield we cannot take. And the bow we cannot take. Oh, the swallow we need for the quest, but we can drop that. Nice. And let's just go out over to the other side. Where we could deploy some forces. Yeah, I want to join the girls here with the spear. I want to have that one. And we want to... Drop one of these. Oh, sorry. I'm just crafting the same weapon. Now we're all looking the same. That's nice, that's nice. Okay, who is in charge here? You? Oh. Hives of monsters have appeared outside the town walls. It won't be long before we'll need to deal with this threat. How should we deploy our forces? Who should we send and where? We could spread them out a to lightly cover all the gates. Or maybe a concentrated force to protect a weakened position. Oh. We need to decide who, who to send where. I like you to hear your thoughts. Okay, so we have spear troops and sword troops. And can cano ears. So I guess cano ears we want the north gate, because they will shoot like behind enemy lines. Oh. And then we can take oh. spears oh. to the left. Because why not? Ah. And I wonder maybe if we should ah. take because I can probably have the east all oh. all by myself. So set these at the west gate as well. So now we have a lot of force on the two oh. gates we're not going to be at. And then we're going to be at uh, the lonely gate. Oh. Make no changes. Oh. But the actual fight, we'll have to wait for next episode. Because now we're approaching the one hour mark. If you have enjoyed this uh, episode, please consider liking the video. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So you don't miss on the future episodes. This has been 23. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.